elongation. Elongation means, uh, okay, one bond distance is long, as I have shown here. This one, this is longer bond distance than equatorial. Okay, this uh, elongation distortions occur when the degeneracy is broken by stabilization, lowering in energy of D or delta with a Z component. Z component, okay. While the orbitals without Z components are destabilized, they go up in energy. Now this doesn't have Z component in it, so it goes up in energy. XY doesn't have a Z component in it, it goes up in it. The one with Z component, they go down, down in energy. This is a beautiful example of John Teller. Okay, now please see. This is a good thing. What we uh, say in theory, okay, and if it is observed in, okay, experiment, then we feel very good about it. Look here, this is 220. Seven picometer bond length. It is axial bond length, metal and ligand. And this is equal to 193. This is what we are saying that uh, this is a regular octahedral. In this, all bond distances will be the same. But in case of copper, it is a D9 system. So this is unequally occupied. So what will happen? Okay, this will distort. Look at this DZ scale. It has come down and this has gone up. So instead of seeing only one band, what you will see? You will see one transition from here, and from here to here, and the second from here to like this. So uh, this is a good example D9, okay, where we see where we see the tetragonal uh, distortion. Compression, okay, in compression, well, this distance will be decreased, okay. In that case, what will happen? Uh, the dx square minus y square orbital, it should go down in energy. The equatorial bond bonds are longer okay they are stabilized than the axial bond this is due to the the z component d orbital having greater overlap okay the, so the ligand is coming way close uh, to the metal and there is a uh, more overlap resulting in higher energy of uh, the xz and the yz orbitals are also de de destabilized due to the interaction. So in compression case, I think uh, what you see here is uh, before that it was dz scare orbital which had one electron or two electrons, so it will come down. And Z direction is elongated. Here, it is X square minus Y square. Electron must be here, okay? So it comes down. It comes down and the other remains up. So DXY down like this. So this is the illustration of the tetracular dis distortion when the compression for an octahedral complex is taking place. By that I mean that the metal, the ligand and metal orbital, they are approaching each other more closely. So that is why there will be a lot of distortion and this bond distance strong bond will take place resulting in more stabilization and so it comes down uh, this is uh, 
I think uh, all about uh, John Teller effect or John Teller distortion uh, very simple okay whenever there is an unequal occupation of d orbitals whether it is an eg set or whether it is a t2g set there will be distortion the distortion is much stronger if there is unequal occupation in eg set compared to t2g set thank you for reading and listening to